What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, here to bring you another quick episode of Breer's Hacks. I got something amazing. This is about to change the bully game, the dog game in general, when it comes to AIs. Um, let me introduce you guys to the three-way AI kit. This shit is like amazing because of the fact that when I was doing AIs and things like that, the traditional way is you take the syringe off on the pipette. You know, there's 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 nothing like this. It's just the pipette on a syringe. You take the syringe off, put it back on to flush the air to get everything out. Now you don't have that problem anymore, and you know every time you're getting the collection fully into the female. So the bottom part right here is where you're gonna go ahead and fill up the semen. You know, fill it up with the collection. The top part is what you're gonna fill with air. So you could set your desired amount desired amount of air. I'll do anything between three and five cc's. And pretty much all you're gonna go ahead and do is load this up into the female. You're gonna, it had, there's three stops. So you're gonna set it to the first stop. So the first stop would be like this. So now, before you get started, like I said, make sure you have the semen loaded at the bottom and you have it your air pulled because now at the, at the first stop, you can't draw any more air out. So what you're gonna wanna do is, like I said, make sure everything is loaded first. We have the proper amount of air, we have the proper amount of semen and set it to stop one. This is stop one. So stop one, once it's inside the female, we're gonna go ahead and, um, you know, push the, the collection through. Once that's done, you're gonna set it to stop two now. Stop two is where now you're gonna go ahead and flush the air out of the pipette. And then stop three is where we go ahead and close off the pipette so nothing can come back in. So we actually have an AI that we have to do today. So I'll show you guys real quick. So this is definitely like game changing and gonna revolutionize how we do AIs. Um, it's great and we sell these on breedershacks.com. Um, like I said, it solved a humongous problem for me when doing AIs and I think it'll be really helpful to you. Um, the traditional the traditional way is still really great, but having something like this, I mean, especially when you have a female that wants to move all over the place or whatever the case may be. I mean, I have, I've had instances where I took the syringe off to put more air in and I got semen coming back in. It was, it was a nightmare. And then some people, I mean, you could pay as high as much as like, you know, $5,000 for a stud fee or something. And there goes your collection. So we don't want to take any chances. So this is what we're going to use. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it. You're going to go ahead and do is how I do my AI is stick my finger in, I go up and over. Um, once I went up and over, I'm gonna go ahead and let the AI rod follow. So it goes up, over. So we had actually already done the AI. Uh, my phone died and we didn't want the collection to go bad. So I'm just showing you here what you would need to do, but obviously you would put the rod in further and um, you wouldn't be putting all that air in, of course. So this is just to show you guys as an example. And as you can see, we have it on stop two right now. You're gonna go ahead and push that through. Once that's pushed through, we go ahead now and set it to stop two. Stop two, you're gonna go ahead, push the air through, and then set it to stop three. Stop three, doesn't allow anything to come back in. Pull out the AI rod, you're done. So, but that's how you guys do it, guys. All right, so AI rod goes in, stop one, push the semen through. Set it to stop two, push the air through, set it to stop three, nothing can come back into the pipette syringe. And that's it. And then I'll just hold it for a couple minutes so nothing comes back out and I have her elevated. As you can see, you know, um, I got her on top of this uh, shipper container so that she's elevated. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks.